This is the Geekum Mini IT8 PC. It's small, powerful, and has a ton of features. Today, we're gonna check it out. I'm Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So I know what you're thinking. Why the heck am I checking out a mini PC on this channel? I've never done that before. Well, I needed one for a special project, and Geekum graciously sent me over this mini IT8 to check out. This is not gonna be a review. This is just gonna be me showing you the features, what's involved, what comes on it, and just checking out this little machine. And I can't wait to do that. Thank you so much to Geekum for sending this little mini PC over. Let's check it out. So when we get the box open, inside is your PC. And if we take off the top here, we'll find a nice carrying case, the power cord, the uh, HDMI cable, a power brick, an instruction manual, and a Visa mount, which is super cool because you can mount this little tiny PC right to the back of your monitor if you want. On the front of the machine, you'll find the power button, the headset slash speaker port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, and a USB-C port, but this one's for data only. On the back of the machine, you'll find the power port, a mini display port here, a gigabyte LAN port, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, a USB-C port that can be for data and display, and an HDMI 2.0 port right here. On the left side of the machine, you'll find a full-sized SD card slot, which makes it very convenient for cameras and 3D printers. To give you an idea of size, I put a spool of filament behind it. This is only roughly four and a half by four and a half by one and three quarters inches tall. That's 117 millimeters by 112 millimeters by 45 0.6 millimeters tall. So this thing really is a mini PC. The Geekum Mini IT8 also features dual band Wi-Fi for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz connections along with Bluetooth so you can connect all your favorite devices. The bottom was easy to take off but it was just four bolts on the corners. And under the hood, the Geekum Mini IT8 runs an Intel Coffee Lake i5-8259U CPU. And if we're keeping track at home, that's an eighth gen i5 powering this thing. More on that later. The version they sent me came with 16 gigs of Kingston RAM and a Kingston 512 gigabyte M.2 solid state drive, as you can see there. Another cool feature is when you flip the bottom over, there's an expansion bay here for another solid state drive. You can pop it in right here and it sits in this area. As mentioned before, this has that display port, the USB-C and the HDMI 2.0. And Geekum says this runs the Iris 655 graphics and will run four total monitors. Also, it will run in 4K. At this point, it's time to plug this thing in and get it running. But before we do that, please smash that like button if you're getting value out of today's video. It really helps the channel and I really appreciate it. Now let's plug this thing in. As the PC boots up, we see that Geekum has actually preloaded Windows 11 Pro on it. And that's pretty dang cool. I have not played with Windows 11 Pro yet, so I'm excited to get this thing configured and let's see what it can do. Now is a great time to tell you about the 2022 Geekum Easter Egg Hunt. All you have to do is jump over to the website at geekumpc.com and there will be a link in the description. And you have a 100% chance of winning a prize just by finding the Easter eggs that are hidden throughout the site. It will make you register so it can keep track of your winnings and send you an email about what your winnings are. So do the registration now or if you already have an account, log in. So once you get registered, say that you found the first egg, then just go through the pages. If I click on the mini PC page up here, uh, I can see that, hey, there's another egg. If I go to the laptop page and look, there's another egg hiding there. There's an egg. Hey, there's one on the home page. And it looks like we are one away from winning. I think they're trying to trick us here. We'll go back to the mini PC page and we're going to scroll down there too. Maybe there's another egg hiding somewhere. Let's see it yet. On the laptop page, maybe? You can skip some of this rambling crap. No, I don't think I will. Uh, one last egg, where are you? Wow. Really? Where the freak is it? <laughs> I did this once before and I found it pretty quick and I don't remember where. Oh. 
So I cycled around a couple times and I went back to the mini PC page and found the sixth one. So there you go. I found all six. It will pull up this. You hit start. It'll cycle through and let's see what we win. Ooh, it looks like a 20% off coupon and it will email this to you as well. So you do have a 20% off coupon uh, that I won this time. Let's see what you get. You can pop it in and order anything you want at the discount, or you might get something free. Don't forget, it is free to play, and there's a 100% chance of winning. So jump into the Geekum 2022 Easter Egg Hunt and save some money on this machine, along with my discount code in the description of another $20. So hopefully, if anybody wants to pick one of these machines up, you can save some good money by going through this little exercise here. And now back to it. Just to test the slicing capability on this thing, I've loaded in a mini gym remixed by the one and only awesome Andrew, and there'll be a link in the description. I've scaled it up to 155% on the Ender 3 S1 build plate, and I've put it to 50% infill at 0.16 layers. Let's see how long this thing takes to slice. So it is already at 20%, 70%, 80%, 90%. And it is done, I believe. Almost done. Generating G code 90%, spinning just a little bit here, and done. So <laughs> if I did this, it would take three days, 21 hours, and 29 minutes. But I tell you what, that was actually pretty respectable for a little PC like this. Uh, I'm going to have to say not bad, not bad at all. While overall, I'm very impressed with this awesome little machine, there is an elephant in the room. This thing is running an 8th gen i5 from Intel. That is four years old from 2018. I'm not sure why they're still putting this chip in this PC, but I have reached out to Geekum and they said they're working on an updated model. So it might've just been chip shortages or something like that. With that being said, is that a deal breaker? I don't think so. This still runs an i5 with four cores and eight threads. It has 2.3 gigahertz and with the Intel Turbo Boost, it says it can hit up to 3.8 gigahertz. I think that's still pretty respectable for a little tiny machine like this. And just for overall shop use, running your 3D printers, your lasers, your CNC, that kind of thing, this thing does really well. So what about price? Well, the configuration that I got with 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigabyte M.2 solid state drive, came in at $549. But if you look in the description below, there's a code for $20 off. And I believe that's on top of the discount you can get with the Easter egg hunt as well. So that stuff could save you some cash if you wanted to pick one of these up. So while I can't tell you what the project is that I got the Geekum Mini IT8 PC for, I could tell you this. If you're looking for a mini PC that you can throw behind your monitor, maybe under a little desk, uh, in, something you're building, I don't know, a cyber deck. This is actually a really good PC for that. It does the slicing I need, it works with the CNC software I have, it will definitely work with my A10 Mini, and it'll definitely do streaming on StreamYard with no problem. So if you have a budget of say $550 or less, you're looking for a little tiny PC just to kind of hide it or stick it in somewhere small, or even if you're just looking for a small PC that's not gonna break the bank, this isn't a bad choice. It's definitely worth considering against maybe a Nook or something like that. So it is a PC I would research if I was in that boat. 